I'm going over how to bake a voxel world to a bunch of static meshes and then export them uh, as FBX. Uh, so to start with, I have my voxel world selected and it's toggled so I can see it. Um, now I'm going to go down to the voxel dash materials tab and I need to change my material config to RGB. That's the only one it was going to work on. So if you have biomes, uh, that could be an issue. Uh, and now if we go down to our LOD settings, I just want to set my max LOD and mid LOD to the same thing. Uh, that way everything's even. It's still going to have the same amount of uh, geometry. So I'm just going to try three and three. So now everything's loaded at the same level. Uh, you don't have to do it as high as I am. Uh, if I go lower just to keep performance up, I want to make my world size smaller. Uh, let's try one. So like one still works. Uh, zero might work on this size. I'm not sure. It will just take a really long time to load. Let's go really small. Okay, I think that's good enough for example. Uh, so now I'm going to go down to the voxel dash bake section and you can change where it's going to go to, uh, but I think it's good where it is. So I'm just going to hit bake. Okay, now when it's done baking, you'll get a voxel static world object in your world outliner and if I just turn off my vox world visibility then it's no longer here and this terrain is all a static mesh uh, so if I now go into my content browser then you'll see this voxel static data folder and if I go inside it we can see all of my meshes that it just generated there are 360 of them. So now I'm going to hit control A and go to asset actions and I want to bulk export. I'm just going to create a new folder, voxel world, and just hit select. You can have whatever settings you want here. I'm just going to leave them as is and hit export all. Now I have Blender open and I'm just going to import them all. Let's get FBX. And if I select that one and shift select everything, then let's just hit the import. As you can see, they all imported into the same exact location. I'm not, in, I don't know if there is a way to fix this. So this may not be a good option if you're trying to import an entire world out. Uh, it works fine in the engine though. I can use this mesh and it's all in the right place with the same material as it had. It's just not a good option for exporting to other software unless you're ready to fix all the issues you got from exporting it from Unreal Engine. I hope this is helpful. Please do subscribe if you want to see more content like this and do let me know what else you would like me to make.